Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use YouTube to embed videos into your web pages. And along the way, I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks uh, in terms of uh, creating and optimizing your videos so that they work best with the YouTube system. For this video tutorial specifically, I'm going to assume that you do have a YouTube account. So I'm not going to walk you through the process of creating a YouTube account. It's uh, if you don't, it takes uh, about two minutes. It's free. It's super easy. And uh, yeah. Before I jump right into the demo of actually uploading a video and then embedding it into a web page, I just want to cover a couple of quick points. First of all, the pros and the cons of using YouTube to embed video in your pages. And I'm just going to read it right off here with some uh, extra comments. The major pro for me, it's, uh, it's easy to do since YouTube provides all the tools that you need to, uh, to uh, embed the videos. It provides the player, etc. It provides the code. They really make it easy for you. One advantage that a lot of people probably don't consider is the fact that when you use uh, videos embedded from YouTube, you don't have to pay for that video bandwidth. This may not be a major issue for you, but you know, if you start getting popular videos, it's uh, it can get pretty expensive, and uh, it could really uh, it could it could slow down your server. So that's one advantage uh, that you know I thought it was worth mentioning. The cons of using YouTube to embed videos in your pages. First of all, the videos are public. So if you want private videos, you won't be able to use YouTube. And one last thing, you're gonna notice that when you do have uh, YouTube fed videos on your site, there's gonna be a little bit of YouTube branding uh, overlaid in the bottom right hand corner. So again, if that's a deal breaker for you, then you're gonna to have to go with a more uh, custom solution, which I'll demo in another video. But uh, if those two little cons are no big deal for you, then uh, yeah, YouTube's a great option. One last thing before I demo the upload and uh, et cetera, I just wanna talk briefly about the video formats. You have to basically find a video format that uh, YouTube, the YouTube system can accept. And fortunately now YouTube has a wide array of formats, including WMV, which is used uh, by Windows and Dot .move, which is QuickTime and MP4, and there's a whole bunch of others. Of course, the best solution, my nerd's choice, as I like to call it, is that you should use something called MP4 with H.264 encoding. So what does that mean? Without going into too much nerd detail, all these different formats, WMV, MP4, with H.264 encoding, FLV, etc. These are all just different ways of packaging and packaging up videos. Yeah, that's the best way of putting it. It's an oversimplification, but that's all you really need to know for, uh, you know, to use this system. I wouldn't worry too much about it because either way, YouTube does a good job processing all these video types. Although I do, again, recommend MP4. And since we're here, so what programs output MP4 with uh, H.264? There are many out there. I'm just gonna mention a few. At the top of my list is QuickTime 7 Pro, which is made by Apple Computers. It's, uh, you probably heard of QuickTime, where they have a pro version that allows you to do very basic video editing and allows you to output videos in the H.264 format. And, but that costs a few bucks, it's $29. If you have a Mac, you can use iMovie. Uh, other options, if you're doing a lot of video work, you may wanna use something like Adobe Premiere or Apple's Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Pro Express if you're on, uh, of course, on a Mac computer. Another option, if you happen to be a Flash guy and you have Adobe Flash, they do have a built-in FL, excuse me, an H.264 encoder. So you just drop in your videos and they'll take care of it for you. If you don't have any of these more expensive solutions, I would recommend QuickTime 7 Pro. 
And if you're on a Mac, though, you could use iMovie. The video editing facilities there are not great, but they're much, they're still better than QuickTime 7 Pro. There are other solutions, that's sure. I don't know them all. Just do a search on Google for MPEG4, MP4, H.264 encoder or video editor, and most do output in that format. I just want to make a quick note about Windows Movie Maker, which comes built in with uh, XP, Vista, I'm sure Windows 7. Up until now, I haven't seen the Windows 7 version. It only outputs, unfortunately, WMV, which still works with YouTube, but it's not optimal. At least that's what the YouTube people say.